Howdy there folks, it's Geist with another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be looking at the Cryosthesia 77K Catalyst. Now I did a previous review of this weapon and uh, I wasn't super impressed by it. After using the Catalyst and, and kind of using the gun at its full potential, I do like it a little bit better. But that, that's a little bit better than hating the gun. So just be aware that I'm going to be a bit opinionated on it. Um, I took a while doing this video because I wasn't really feeling it. I didn't even really want to do the video on it. Uh, but I figured I, I did the review on the regular gun. I might as well do it on the Catalyst as well. Uh, now, I personally am not a huge fan of the weapon. The Catalyst does make it a little bit more bearable, um, but it does still have a bit of a skill gap and kind of a tempo that you have to work with the gun in order to succeed with it. Uh, this is not going to be like, say, Dead Man's when it launched, where you could just pick it up and it just immediately felt great or any other similar exotics. Um, basically, the, the method that you use this weapon, you need to get a kill with it. You're going to freeze somebody with it after that, and then you need to shatter that person, whether that be with one of your abilities like Shatter Dive or a grenade launcher or a shotgun, something like that. You're gonna be using something else to get the shatter, and then the catalyst is going to reload the gun. And so you can kind of just continue this loop over and over and over, or at least that's what you're supposed to do. The combo that I see most people utilizing is the grenade launcher with it, just because you can get that freeze, quickly swap to the grenade launcher, and fire it at him to finish him off. Um, the other thing that you can do, like I just spoke about a second ago, is something like Shatter Dive. And that's going to be a little bit quicker, and the weapon doesn't actually have to leave your hands. If you're kind of kind of quick on the draw with it. You could freeze somebody, jump, shatter dive them, or, or slide if you're a titan, um, and immediately get the reload on the weapon and just kind of keep going with it. Beyond that, that's really all there is to it. This gun, very similar to Tiku's, is kind of a novelty. Um, I think it is a novelty that is still better suited to PvE because that freeze lasts a lot longer and there's a lot more that you can do with that. Uh, kind of like how TQs has really good boss damage and just add clear in general in PvE. Both of them, I think, are better suited to PvE than PvP. Uh, TQs especially. I don't know if you use that in Crucible, but that one is hot garbage in Crucible. It's okay, but there are so many more better options. And you know, part of it's not TQs' fault. Uh, if bows ever get a, at a buff, which they need to, then perhaps we'll see a rise in TQs. I don't know. But as, as far as Cryosthesia is concerned, other sidearms are better and they don't take up your exotic slot. You can more consistently get the kills with them. Uh, the only bonus that Cryosthesia has is the fact that you can get a little freeze and do a little wombo combo with a grenade launcher or a shatter. I do not actually have Shatter Dive on my Hunter because I haven't taken the time to unlock any of the stasis stuff because I'm not a fan of stasis. Uh, but that, that is gonna be the probably the most effective method. Uh, I know it's certainly happened to me plenty of times. I've gotten frozen, and then a Titan immediately slides right through me. Haven't seen too many hunters using the Shatter Dive. It's it's going to take a little more skill to pull that off. But um, if you don't have either of those, just use a grenade launcher. That's going to be your next best bet to actually get the detonation on the ice. For me personally, inside of Crucible, this is just not worth your exotic slot. Um, now that's my opinion. Some of you guys may love the gun. It, it may jive with you, but to me, it just requires too much setup when I compare it to other exotic options and even restricting it to just other exotic primary options. I mean, Dead Man's Tail, Crimson, Symmetry, even Mida now. I mean, there, there are a lot of other options that are better and there are very few exotic primaries I would recommend this over. Now, I'm always an advocate of exotic primaries. You guys know this. I, I like using my exotic slot on something that I can always have with me, something that I can get a lot of use out of just due to the nature of the primary ammo economy. Uh, but there are just far more better options than this. And even if you want to run an exotic sidearm, if you love sidearms like I do and you want to main an exotic sidearm, you can use just about any other exotic sidearm in place of this and you're going to have better success. Rat King, Devil's Ruin, Travelers, they're all better than this when it comes to maining them in Crucible. Uh, they've got a little bit more utility to them, and they just feel better. Cryo isn't necessarily bad, but it's not in the strongest archetype when you compare it to some of the archetypes of the others. So that about wraps up my thoughts on the Cryosthesia. I didn't personally enjoy it. I didn't have too much fun with it. It was kind of meh to me, but I mean, hey, if, if you guys like it, 
feel free to keep playing with it. This is just my personal opinion. Uh, it's, it's not for me. Uh, but other than that, uh, if you guys have stuck with me this far, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.